Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, let's look at some cool images like this and this one. Okay, we've done that. Now, let's look at the coolest hot hatches ever. Now, remember my own opinion and I'll admit there are lots of cool hot hatches out there, but I've only done seven of them. I haven't done any else, okay? So don't feel like I've said that this hot hatch is not cool at all. I never said that. I just haven't included it. But anyway, let's look at some hot hatches. Let's go. First one would be all generations of the Audi RS3. Like this one, this one, and this one. This is because this car had a five cylinder engine and five cylinders are a dying breed like you don't see them anymore next would be the above 695 and the 595 now this is probably the least expected hot hatch on the list but I chose these two cars because a they sound really cool B from this angle they just look amazing rear not so much see they are quite nippy for their size and also they come in colors that I just die for you look you had the blue and yellow you got this orange you got this light green you got gray and you got black with a bit of gray on it these colors are to die for next would be the focus rs mark 3 this one has the four cylinder not the five cylinder but this is cool because A, this blue just works, uh, B, the aero on it and the aesthetics look really cool and it's got four wheel drive which means that Nauta 60 is under 5 seconds this time and it's got more power than the previous Focus RS but the main reason, the very main reason this is a cool hot hatch is, if you didn't guess it, here it is it's drift mode baby, it's a drift mode. Yeah, four wheel drive drift car, how about that? Next will be the Subaru Impreza Cosworth WRX STI CS400. This car, oh my god, it is just a Subaru Impreza WRX STI hatch tuned by Cosworth. People who did these amazing Fords tuned to 400 horsepower. Now, just to think that you know you can get a 400 horsepower hatch today, nowadays, which we'll talk about later. Spoiler alert! But back in 2010, it was a bit more of a bigger deal, if I'm honest. And well, it was quick. Not to 60, 3.7 seconds. Now, the engine was completely rebuilt, uh, new brakes, suspension system was a bit different. Uh, it came in three colours, silver, black, uh, this dark grey and red. And you got Cosworth badges everywhere. It did cost 50k though at the time, I don't know what that's worth nowadays, but that was a lot. Only 75 were actually made and all of them were for the UK market. Next is the car I spoiler alerted before is the Mercedes A45 S AMG. This car has a 2 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder with 400 give or take between 20, 10 and 20 bhp or hp depending on how you look at it. But I mean you're thinking well what about the Subaru that had a 2.5 liter engine that's 500 cc more this is this is two liters man two liters and 420 horsepower give or take that is that, that's still nuts today and also another four-wheel drive drift car <laughs> next is the Toyota Yaris GR GR standing for Kazoo Racing. Now this is a rallying Yaris. This is a Yaris. Look, Yaris, there. Look. 
And then there's the WRC Yaris. I mean, what? Who would have thought of rallying Yaris? I mean, to think about it, the original sporty Yaris was pretty cool. It was nippy and looked looked a bit gangster. But then came the second generation and it was a bit of a limp pig if I'm honest or limp cow. It wasn't much. Yeah. It had a bit more power but it had a bigger engine to do it. Plus it was over 100 kilograms heavier and it wasn't that much faster. So and it didn't look the part as well especially from the rear it's just no. I, did, I don't like this one at all. But the third generation here is the Yaris GR MN, GRC Gazoo Racing and then Meisters of the Nürburgring and obviously the Nürburgring is a pretty, what's the word I'm looking for, pretty hard, not hard as in like challenging but a, like solid place to take your car to test it and to get the right handling from it. And lastly is the Hyundai i30N, this car I did not expect from Hyundai and it went around the Nürburgring. Which means, it's a solid car, you know, you want a car to handle, you take it there. Unless you are Mr. James May, then you think about blowing it up. Ride is important. Alright, alright. <laughs> Bomb it. Yeah. But anyway. Who expected this from here and I? Not me. And there are lots of her and I end cars, you got this, the Veloster, and you got i20. You got like... Wow, Hyundai, compared to the old rubbish things they were playing before, wow. And it is helped by the fact that Albert Behrman, who worked at BMW M before Hyundai, he then came onto Hyundai. And well, look at the results. You got sporty, good looking, fast, good handling Hyundais for once. I mean, wow. Yeah. Wow. But anyway, um, those are seven cool hot hatches that I like. Don't forget there are others, I just may have not mentioned them. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.